The December 26, 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami highlighted the need to increase capacity building of countries throughout the Indian Ocean. From January 14 to 18, 2008, a seismology and tsunami warning training course was hosted at the Mauritius Meteorological Services in Bacos. It was carried out as part of the Mauritius Tsunami Mitigation Capacity Building Project. Laura Kong of the IOC International Tsunami Information Center, Masahiro Yamamoto of the IOC, and Walter Mooney from the U.S. Geological Survey conducted introductory overview training on seismology and end-to-end -end tsunami warnings. The Great Sumatra Earthquake of December 26, 2004 had the largest seismic moment of any earthquake in the past 40 years. I was working in the forecast office that night. It was quite new to us, uh, the tsunami. I mean, uh, the level of the disaster was quite new, not that much. I uh, had never been through it before. And uh, that night, uh, we just heard on the news and then uh, people phoned and then we issued a, a warning and uh, for Mauritius, uh, we did have uh, some sea level rise uh, to the east and then uh, to the north. The effect was relatively small in Mauritius, but it was not the same uh, in Rodrigues because in Rodrigues, some of the water did enter quite a few meters inland and that created quite a bit of panic in uh, the whole Rodrigues. And Rodrigues is one of the outer islands for Mauritius. And uh, so it caused a lot of flooding there? It did, it did cause a lot of flooding and we, when we went uh, in the morning we tried to go and uh, survey around Mauritius. Even in Mauritius in the north extreme part we have some of the water, of the seawater, penetrated the roads and everything. On the eve I was, uh, it was uh, just after Christmas, Boxing Day. On the eve I was at, uh, at the beach and then the day after they told me that big waves are swept. I was very surprised. Now many people are aware what is tsunami. Formerly no one knew until this, this episode 2004, no one knew what was a tsunami. If we are a touristic country, a lot of uh, the government of other countries whose tourists come, whose people come to Mauritius, they want to ensure that Mauritius is a tsunami ready country. So in that context, we have to take care of it. We have already established a tsunami warning center. We have a committee, which we call the Central Cyclone and Other Natural Disaster Committee, which takes care of the whole uh, multi-hazard system that we have in, in uh, our country. And tsunami is taking a very big uh, sort of, uh, uh, it, it's, it's, it's becoming popular. We try, uh, through our NS campaign, try to explain the risk that it carries, and especially because it is not recurrent, so we have to emphasize on awareness and even try to teach them in schools and other community centers. We have to be very well informed, we have to be well prepared, especially Mauritius has got no other natural resources. Its only natural resources are the human beings. So in that case, any loss of a single human being means a lot to our country. So that's why we have to emphasize on loss of lives and safety of property of Mauritius. As far as Mauritius is concerned, we are doing uh, the forecasting for Mauritius itself, then for Rodrigues, yes. uh, Rodrigues Islands, then we have outer islands such as Agaliga and St. Brandon, where we have just small uh, population. Right now, Mauritius itself is uh, doing a lot as far as the uh, establishment of the warning is concerned. But I think this will help us also to, in terms of like uh, education, public education, uh, to work in collaboration with the other stakeholders involved, the in emergency right. managers and, and so on. Right. Yeah, okay. And uh, we are doing a bit of theory as far as seismology is concerned also. Yeah. So from zero, we are going somewhere. A total of 25 people participated in this course. The training program in seismology and tsunami warnings emphasized the technical aspects of end-to-end -end warnings by increasing awareness of modern practices in earthquake and tsunami monitoring, 
evaluation, and warning. That's uh, my first training course on uh, earthquake and uh, seismology. It was very interesting, a lot of uh, new thing for me, but uh, maybe the time wasn't enough, so maybe need some more time, some more hand-on uh, exercises, maybe. And, uh, and it's quite a different field from meteorology, but the same is it's more our disaster and disaster prevention. I've undergone more courses on seismology, uh, two weeks in Pune, and uh, Ms. Uh, Dr. Laura Kong, she came here last year. We had a three days again with her. And I've, I'm starting to understand it more, you know, all these one week, two week sessions, they are making me understand the subject more now. Mm -hmm. So I, you can say I know more about uh, seismology now than I knew last year. Yes. And uh, it is going to help me do my job better. I mean, in, in, here we also monitor seism, uh, seismic activities, earthquakes and right. ultimately tsunamis also. Concerning the course, I think it was very, very appropriate for a country which is just which experienced to a certain extent the impacts of the 2004 tsunami. Uh, the other thing is the part on earthquakes and uh, seismology. We really need to have a hand-on experience in in uh, determining parameters related to earthquakes. So I think. This week has been a very good introduction to these two topics and we hope that in the future we'll have the assistance of our experts to help us move further uh, along uh, the line of uh, disseminating information to the public and to our stakeholders. It has been a very uh, interesting and very interacting classes with the participants and students and the lecturers as well. And uh, it has... Uh, built up uh, the, my knowledge in regards to tsunami and uh, seismology. And uh, we look forward to additional courses like this, where we can extend our knowledge. We are actually building uh, a team of emergency managers, so we will be one of those guys who will be issuing uh, warnings and bulletins to the different stakeholders and, and all that. Yeah, uh, I think this course was uh, really excellent and, and I'm not just saying it because you are in front of me. Uh, I think it's very useful information were uh, actually uh, shared with us and uh, uh, I find it especially interesting because uh, actually I'm going to use some of this material for my own uh, a campaign in public awareness and, ed and education and I'm also using some of these material actually in schools as well this is what I'm looking forward to so everything that was done here was really great thank you again as a nation dependent on tourism Mauritius is taking steps to be better prepared for tsunamis and other natural hazards although it is a small island country Mauritius is leading the way in their region in terms of tsunami preparedness, training, and technical capacity building. Thank you.